Welcome to the Royal Academy of Arts for SISC's annual event. This year, our topic is raising the workforce of the future. I think it's the consensus that we need to do something urgently to address the workforce in construction, and that's about opening it up to women in construction, ethnic minorities, and just making it more accessible for people to come and, and, and play their part. It's been incredibly inspiring talking about the construction industry and the challenges it faces, specifically how we get younger generations that are critical to the future of the construction industry into the business. There's two steps to the process. There's the appearance, which is the story you tell, and then there's reality, which in this context is probably the culture of the company once I get there. I think that those are the two issues I'd be focusing on, telling better stories to the world that appeal to the world that they live in, that are delivered on the platforms where they exist, designing those stories in a way that's emotionally compelling to that generation, appreciating the needs that they have, refining and reshaping the culture of the industry so that once they do arrive, if they do arrive, then it's a place that feels like home. I think probably the, the biggest takeaway this evening is the perception the industry has of itself. It's not sexy, it's not interesting. I think when it comes to attracting talent, we need to really understand what young people are looking for. Again, it comes down to purpose, it comes down to meaning. So having a job to do that, yes, pays you well, but actually is meaningful, that you believe is making a difference in the world. And that is around uh, you know, climate change, all these kind of things. The built environment has a huge, huge part to play in that. And I think if construction can step up to that, which I'm sure it will, then it will have a story that will attract absolutely everybody. There are three things that are affecting whether young people choose to go into engineering, and that's whether they know about it, whether it appeals, and whether they feel that they would fit. In terms of outreach, uh, it's possible to achieve all three of those, particularly if across the sector people work together. But that also means learning from our mistakes. If there has been an outreach project or a scheme that's going on that hasn't gone really well, it's worth knowing about it. On the whole, we only share successes. If we can be honest about the things that don't work, as well as the things that, that have been effective, then we're going to do a much better job of being able to uh, attract young people into this industry. First of all, you have to understand their language. You have to understand their generation and where they come from. You have to find ways that you can break that kind of barrier and start engaging with them based on the way or the language they speak, not based on what you think is the best for them. It was great to see so many people in the room. The place was packed. Um, lots of good questions. I think lots of good interrogation of some of the ideas that came out of, of the panel. It's clear we need to do something different to appeal to the workforce of the future. The values that we looked for 20 years ago is different from what they're looking for now. I'd like to thank the UK North Futures Board for helping organise the whole event. It's been fantastic and I think everyone's leaving with a smile on their face.